The first step towards widespread use of nanotechnology is already happening, and it will be as transformative as the Industrial Revolution. Nanoscale 3D printing is the ability to print 1 million times smaller than the standard hobby printer. Invisible to the naked eye, nanoscale is about one-tenth the width of human hair. Why do we need to print that small? What can we do with technology like that? And where are we today? Since 2013, micro 3D printing, which is only about a thousand times smaller, has been used to create miniaturized devices for electronics, healthcare, and the optical industries. Most microscale 3D printers use one of two types of printing, stereolithography, which is commonly used in resin printing, and selective laser sintering, which is used in metal printing. Light and lasers have proven to be powerful tools for the fabrication of complex structures in small scales. However, at the nano level, these methods either cannot perform the complex printing or leave a rough fractured surface and sacrifice accuracy. A new method had to be invented called two-photon lithography or TPL. It not only brings the ability to print at nano scale, but also allows for micro scale prints to be virtually flawless. Compared to SLA and SLS, TPL provides superior resolution and removes the process of layer by layer fabrication. TPL essentially uses multiple continuous lasers to produce 3D objects in a non-linear process. I could go further into the technology, but I'm not a scientist and you would probably end the video right here. Currently, this technology uses a resin-like material, which, on its own, is great for the medical field. Companies like Nano Dimension and UpNano utilize two-photon lithography in their machines for micro and bio 3D printing. But the ability to print accurate metal at this scale is where real-world changing possibilities are unlocked. It is only in the last two to three years that scientists have made breakthroughs in printing metal objects accurately at this scale. Currently, universities across America are researching different ways to print at nanoscale while remaining accurate. Dr. Dmitry Momotenko is leading a research group at the Institute of Chemistry in Leipzig, Germany, where they are exploring methods to print nanoscale metal. By using a specialized printing nozzle, the team has been able to print with copper, silver, and nickel and they have been successful in creating copper spiral columns 25 nanometers in size. One goal of printing this small is to drastically shorten the pathways of the ions inside a battery during the charging process. Nanoscale 3D printing will allow the interlocking of the anodes and cathodes like fingers at the nanoscale and reduce the distance between them to just a few nanometers. Dr. Momotanko believes this technology will allow his team to 3D print batteries that can recharge 1,000 times faster than current technologies. Just think of the ability to charge your Tesla faster than filling up a tank of gas. Additionally, using 3D printing, he hopes to put into practice the manufacturing of sensors that are able to detect individual molecules in the human body. He believes that it would be helpful in medicine for detecting tumor markers before they grow, and even detect biomarkers for Alzheimer's. Nanoscale 3D printing is also unlocking new printing materials. Researchers at Stanford University fuse metal nanoclusters with resin-like mixture to create a stronger, lighter weight material. Using two-photon lithography, they discovered that their nanoclusters actually accelerated the chemical reaction needed to print, which produced a substance that was a mixture of the metal and specialized resin. With this accelerated reaction time, they can print at a speed of 100 millimeters per second, which is roughly 100 times faster than what had previously been possible. The increased speed also allows them to print the material in a protective lattice that can absorb twice as much energy as previous materials. Currently, the new lightweight material is being tested to provide structural protection for satellites, drones, and microelectronics. Although still in its infancy, nano 3D printing is believed to be the catalyst for a nanotechnology revolution. Technological breakthroughs such as smart contact lenses, microbiotics that deliver medical treatments to specific areas from inside the body, or even just creating a phone that is paper thin are all possible, bringing the ideas of science fiction to reality. Thanks for watching.